Hello guys, it's me King Mumsy and in this video we're going to be talking about the possibility of a new JoJo's All-Star Battle R sequel. But before we get straight into that guys, I just want to give you all a quick heads up or reminder about the JoJo Early Access Online demo that we'll be getting to play this weekend from the 16th to the 22nd of June. It will have Dio, Jonathan, Jolene and Jotaro as the only playable characters available along with a practice mode which is really exciting and also I'm gonna be live streaming this online demo but only this Saturday either on YouTube or Twitch. I'm gonna let you guys decide which platform that I'm gonna be streaming on. I will have a poll up online with a link to it down in the description and comment section as well where you guys can vote and decide on which platform that I will be streaming the online all-star battle R demo and also further details regarding the time of the stream will be up on my Twitter which you guys should follow and now without any further ado guys let's get straight into the video. Will Jojo's All-Star Battle R get a sequel? Now the possibility of this happening I think are about 50-50 but I do have a definitive answer for you guys by the end of this video. Now we all know that Jojo's is a very super popular series especially now in the west thanks to Diamond is Unbreakable and Golden Wind. Yeah Netflix sadly killed the stone ocean hype a bit but that hasn't affected the overall hype and popularity of the series worldwide as a whole especially now that we are all aware that part 9 after Jujoleon is coming in the near future and it is also thanks to this game too which so far has been receiving nothing but tons of hype and excitement from fans worldwide including myself too of course and I think that once Bandai takes notice of all this optimism and hype for the game as we are anticipating more character reveals and details for the game then they will most likely green light a sequel for all star battle or all star battle R. it really makes no difference but yeah anyways a sequel will most likely be green lit after the game's released especially if both the game and dlc sell very well and if the game is received very well from both fans and especially critics as well because Naturally, Bandai, CC2, Weekly Shonen Jump and Shueisha are gonna try and continue to milk the JoJo series for all it's worth like they've been doing for the past several decades now and a series of new JoJo All-Star Battle games plus DLC over the next several years would be a great way to do that. It would be a great way to make more money if the series would continue to see success just like the Naruto Storm series did back in the day. So so the idea of Jojo All-Star Battle R getting a sequel sounds very possible but let's look at the flip side of things. What exactly is stopping this game from ever getting a sequel regardless of whether it ends up becoming very successful or not that you might be asking yourself right now? Well for one the price tag I think it's going to affect the sales of the game just a bit because it's $50 which is just $10 of a full priced game. And and a lot of people are not going to be too keen on paying that much for a remaster of a nine year old game regardless of how much more content and characters that it's going to be packing this time around which is very understandable but regardless of the pricing being what it is it isn't necessarily going to stop the game from becoming successful believe you me but what I do think will ultimately prevent this game from ever getting a sequel is if they ever decide to do something different like they decide to experiment and decide to do a 3D arena fighter like they did with Eyes of Heaven or like they're doing now with the Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles series which I really hope they don't do I would rather they just continue doing 2D Jojo games but another thing that could prevent All Star Battle from getting a sequel is if it ends up becoming a service type of game similar to Naruto Shinobi Striker and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 where they decide to just continue release DLC along with new content and updates for the game non-stop for many years to come now is this a bad idea not necessarily but in the long term I can see myself and many many other people getting tired and fed up of it just like how the Dragon Ball Xenoverse community have gotten sick and tired of Bandai and Dimps continuously milking Xenoverse 2 instead of making Xenoverse 3 like the Xenoverse community has been asking 
asking for many many years now like by all means support the game but please just don't put a Xenoverse 2 and continuously milk it to the point where we get sick and tired of it so yeah I really hope that this doesn't end up happening but ultimately I think we will more than likely get a sequel for this game instead but again that all depends on how well this game does after release which I'm confident it will do very well despite the questionable price tag which I imagine many people especially hardcore Jojo fans like myself will overlook and if that online demo I mentioned earlier in the video ends up being a success due to everyone including myself having a great time with it due to the combat and netcode being phenomenal then the chances of this game doing well enough to get a sequel are almost 100% guaranteed but yeah ultimately I do think that this game will get a sequel but I am curious to see what you guys think about this topic do you think this game will get a sequel or not please be sure to leave down your thoughts down in the comment section below by the way guys if you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a like on it also subscribe and hit that notification bell for more future Jojo all-star battle R videos thank you guys so much for watching this is your boy King Mumsy signing out take care and peace Oh, 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 oh,